Hello, everyone. We are kicking off our the Cube's live coverage here of NetApp Converge. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, and I'm sitting alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strache. Rob, the the floor is starting to fill up here. You feel the energy, you feel the excitement, the momentum that NetApp has because they've got they've got a focused plan. Yeah, and I think this is always been a really great culture that NetApp has always had and it's carried forward and I, I think part of that is the people at NetApp and the partners and that's what we're surrounded by today. You, you feel the buzz, you feel the buzz. Well, I'd like to introduce our first guest of the day, George Kurian, Chief Executive Officer of NetApp. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE, George. Thanks for being here, we're excited to have you. So AI, of course, is, is the buzz, but now more than ever, companies, businesses are feeling this pressure to accelerate innovation and Im improve employee productivity, um, unlock new customer experiences. Can you talk a little bit about NetApp in the context of this and how intelligent data infrastructure and unified data storage play, this, uh, play such an important role in empowering companies to, to do what they're feeling the pressure to do? Absolutely, well thanks for being here. We believe that data is the secret to unlock employee productivity, engaging customer experiences, and sort of accelerate the pace of you know, customer success in businesses around the world. And data is already driving competitive advantage for data-driven corporations as opposed to those that cannot harness their data. One of the keys to being able to harness and unify your data for competitive advantage is an intelligent data infrastructure. And it enables the two parallel requirements for business success, you know, transformational flexibility to be able to use any data with any application anywhere, while being able to have simplicity to drive efficiency and cost and resilience and security and to take advantage of your existing skills. We do that in a combination of three capabilities. One is unified data storage, which is the foundation of our platform, where you can essentially unify any data across any application type and be able to integrate that into anywhere the data might live, the edge, the cloud, you know, different types of your data center environments. The second, is to integrate a set of intelligent data services, especially to deal with the new threat uh, you know, landscape. And the third is operational capabilities to enhance team productivity, optimize and improve sustainability. And so we're really excited at what the offerings are and our messages hearing resonance in customers, which has driven our competitive advantage over the last year and our momentum heading into the new year. Yeah, you, you definitely have that momentum. And I, I think, again, having been at NetApp, you know, previously and, and seen it, I've always loved the culture, all the way back to the toasters and, you know, when ONTAP has been that common theme throughout. I think some of the things that we see are, you know, really you're into your FY25 now, and you're starting to lay out what your strategic priorities and initiatives are. What are some of those strategic priorities and initiatives that you're going to be focused on in your FY25? I think there's a few of them that we talked about with our field teams that we've been working on for quite a while in the product organization. The first is to modernize our customers' data center environments. We introduced today a uh, you know, robust suite of the world's highest performing flash storage that has a broad range of values to our clients across file and block and object storage and we're super excited at that portfolio. The second is to integrate security capabilities and protection capabilities across all of our platforms. Not only the highest performance flash platforms, but capacity flash, our block storage, object storage, our cloud portfolio, and our software defined offerings. And we do that with the industry's most secure storage environments where we can detect you know, uh, malicious threats, protect against them, and recover very, very quickly. And we are underwriting our confidence with the industry's only storage ransomware protection guarantee. The third, of course, has been the work that we're doing with the hyperscalers. 
where we have integrated the industry's best storage and data management platform. In all the public clouds, we've seen strong acceleration in the number of clients, the workloads that we're engaging, and of course, the future is really around AI. NetApp has strong offerings for Gen AI, uh, for model training, for inferencing, and I think that what we see is you know, two important things, right? One is we hold a lot of the world's most important unstructured data, and so we're bringing AI to the data and allowing our clients to be able to use their data very simply and effectively for AI, as well as Gen AI is the most classic hybrid cloud you know, application because you might do training in one place, but you'll be doing inferencing everywhere. Yeah, and I, I think again, that to me and what we see in the market as well, when we do, do analysis, we have a partner ETR, is exactly that. People are bringing AI to the data, not necessarily the data to AI, and being in the clouds, maybe you want to do training up there, but you want to do fine tuning on some really delicate data that's down in there, so that, that makes total sense. Yeah, so we're super excited. You know, we've worked for many years to architect this super flexible, very intelligent data infrastructure, and uh, we're seeing the payoff of that. So as you said, AI is the future, and so many companies and organizations are, are trying to figure out how they reap the benefits of AI. So what kind of advice do you give the, the chief executives that you're talking to day in, day out, about how to implement an intelligent data infrastructure and really unlock the benefits? We, we talk about three or four things there. I think the first is, you know, understand where in your organization you can get most impact and value from AI. Uh, that's really a business strategy question. The second is to organize for success, which is to build an AI center of excellence where you can bring together all of the different roles and teams to work together. Data science, data engineering, your IT infrastructure teams, your security architects and so on. The third is to build the data foundation that you need to serve those models. So here what we talk about is unifying the data, you know, both structured and unstructured data, segregating them from the systems. You know, most clients have had their data you know, locked up in systems, but now unify it so that they really become an asset to the business. And then the last is start to think about policy, right, for security, for privacy, for model versioning, for model transparency. And so, we're really excited about the range of things we can do for clients. And the hyperscalers, for example, are recognizing it with us, and other partners like NVIDIA and Lenovo are recognizing it with us, where we're building joint solutions to enable our clients. Yeah, which we'll have on later on with Sandeep, actually, so I think that shows the power of partnership. I think to that point, the partnerships that you do have with Microsoft and Amazon and Google are, are pretty noteworthy. I, I think, Thank again, you. the way that you approach it, how do you really look at that portfolio and the offerings in particular, and how in terms of supporting cloud services and AI initiatives, because they kind of, like we were just chatting about a second ago, they go kind of hand in hand. Absolutely, you know, we see more and more clients are hybrid and multi-cloud in their architecture at the application portfolio level, and one of the really hard challenges that they have to deal with is how do I you know, have my data be managed and unified across these distributed landscapes. And we worked with the cloud providers for many years to enable a, an integrated hybrid cloud experience. And what we mean by that is that you have the ability to deploy a workload and an application wherever you want and bring your data to it but the operational experience, the security experience, the you know, performance, resilience, and you know, customer experience is absolutely unified. And that has played out more and more to our advantage. We are doing a lot more with the cloud providers. You know, we, we are integrating our data management technology with their cloud AI platform. So for example, we showed integrations with Vertex and with Bedrock and you'll see it with others so that clients can have a hybrid experience. They can use those cloud platforms but protect and secure their data. And so keep the customer at the center, realize that 
everybody needs to partner for success. And you know, I think it's a powerful endorsement of our unique competitive technology portfolio and the fact that we are the specialist at scale in storage and data management. Yeah. I was just going to ask about, about this culture of innovation that, that Rob has talked about, um, that he knows so well, and obviously you. How are you continuing to drive it? Because innovation is going to be what will separate the, the true competitors here. I think it's sort of three or four elements to it, right? I think the first is to provide focus to the class of problems we are trying to address. And so what we are really good at is to be the specialist in data infrastructure. And so that you know, provides context and grounding for our engineers. The second is to keep a customer-centric mindset. You know, go and listen to our customers with humility and understanding and empathy so that we can really deeply understand their problems. And the third is to encourage people to take risk, right? To, you cannot succeed in trying out and building new things without having certain times you will make mistakes. And so it's to make it okay to make mistakes because the most important thing from that is to actually learn from it and to celebrate success. And I think that there are many people who have gone before me who have encouraged that culture and there are many people here today who build on it and make it the place it is. And so we're really honored to be here. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a big thing. And I mean, obviously AI, it, the, the grounding of AI is data. And that's where NetApp has always lived in doing that. And I think that as you see this, you're bringing that to the partners as well. And I, I think a lot of that is around the partnerships, not just the hyperscalers, but we have many of the VAR community and distributors here. How, how have they been receiving uh, what you've been talking about today so far? I think what they have seen is the fact that their teams and our customer teams who have learned our technology have had enormously you know, uh, big benefits, right? So we had several customers that we talked, that I've talked to, who said, hey, you are the only vendor that has taken my team into the cloud world, and you took the, you know, the skills that my team had, and you had them expand the operational capabilities that they applied the skills to. And they see some of the same things in AI, where because we are, you know, partnering well with other players in the ecosystem, they have a multiplier effect on their investment in NetApp. And so it's, you know, part of our DNA is to work with partners and to approach the market with partners. And uh, that's going to stay, continue to be part of our core strategy. So this is obviously a, a big event here for NetApp. What are the, and, and, and you're making lots of announcements, as you said, you're fresh from the main stage. What are you hoping to talk about next year, at, at next year's Converge? What are some of, how, how do you hope to have looked back on fiscal year 25? I think we, first of all, we always take a moment to look back on the year past and say, what did we do really well and where can we improve upon? And we have many things to be really proud of this past year. We've had strong momentum. Clearly we have taken market share and we are pioneering things like data security and you know, the, being the platform for AI and expanding our you know, horizons and cloud. I think that what I'd really like to you know, kind of witness next year is that our teams come back here and really celebrate success. And you know, I'm sure we'll build on the foundations that we set this year with even expanding horizons next year. But it's really about making our employees know that they have the tools to build a plan for them to be the trusted advisors to our clients and for our clients to be able to accomplish their business imperatives with us and our partners. Uh, I, I think again, that's to me the key, is bringing it all together and looking out and celebrating the successes and which means that your customers are being successful exactly. as well. And I think a big piece of that is, again, I, I, I love the announcements with the, all the AFF 1K and all of the other stuff that goes along with it and the software built in has always been. Do you see that as your kind of north star is, hey, 
it's all on tap and we bring it all together with supporting software around that. Because that's really, even from when I was here, it was one of the cores that I saw. Yeah, I think you know, from a technology strategy perspective, we have been you know, kind of the driver of having a single unified data platform that can support any data, any application, anywhere. And I think most of the other players in the industry are now beginning to recognize the wisdom of that approach. And we continue to evolve the capabilities of that platform foundation. We are adding into it you know, more and more really compelling data services, you know, protection, security, content aware, you know, management of data, metadata catalogs so that you can build capable AI pipelines, you know, and so you will see us enhancing that part of our portfolio more and more. And then I think the third area is operational capabilities so that you can manage this distributed data platform across all the clouds as a single unified entity. And so we're excited. I think the fact that we've architected this beautiful single unified platform now gives us pace and velocity that makes it really hard for somebody else to keep up with us because you can create observability and now you've got it everywhere. You can create security and you've got it everywhere. And for a client, the consistency in the operations is profound. They have the same tools, the same you know, telemetry and observability capabilities, a single integrated security model, a single in integrated recovery model, and the cost structure of their operations with us is significantly better than with anybody else in the industry. Goes back to, to the focus. Correct, George, absolutely. George Curry, and thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. A real pleasure having you. Thank you, thanks yes, for being thank here. You. I've enjoyed the conversation and I hope you have a wonderful time. Yes, yes. thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Converge. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise technology coverage.